Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be filming a monthly favourites video and I haven't filmed one of these videos since January and I don't know why that is. Maybe because I have like planned to do one at the end of the month but I just haven't got around to doing it or maybe some other reason. I do really enjoy making these videos and also watching them because I do love getting inspiration from other people's monthly favourites so that I can add things to my shopping list because I am a total shopaholic. <laughs> Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few, well a few, I mean a lot of beauty products that I've been loving this month and I also have a non beauty related product. If you do also enjoy watching these videos don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up right now. Do it. Do it. Before I get into the video, I'd really, really like to share some exciting news and I'm finally announcing the two giveaway winners for my 1k giveaway. Ow! Why would you do that? Just a little disclaimer before I announce these two winners. If you didn't win this giveaway, then don't be upset or don't feel like I haven't picked you because of a certain reason. I did pick these um, winners random, so that's why these guys have won. So don't feel the need that I have picked these people for a specific reason because that is not the case. There are gonna be many giveaways in the future, so if you would like to win a future giveaway with maybe even better prizes than this one, then don't forget to stay tuned for them. And hopefully you guys don't just unsubscribe because you didn't win, because that would be such a shame. But with that out the way, I would like to finally announce the winners. I'm firstly going to announce the social media winner. But the winner for this social media giveaway is Molly Cooper 666 on Twitter or Cooper16 underscore on Instagram. Congratulations, you won the social media giveaway. Don't forget to give me a message on Twitter or Instagram and you can just send me over your details. So the YouTube winner is CXSEYXXX. Again, I'll put the name on the screen so you can see. Congratulations as well and you have won the YouTube prize. Uh, again, just message me and you can send over your details and I'll get those packages out to you both as as soon as I can. Anyway, with that out the way, I would like to carry on with the video and let's get started. So the first thing that I have been absolutely loving this month or has I've been loving every month since I've got it is this <coughs> fucking bag. Connor just sneezed. <laughs> this bag, this bag is I love this so, so much and I use it every single time I go out. I just fucking love it. It's such a nice bag. I love the color. I love the size. It's just amazing. I just love it. <laughs> the only thing that I fucking hate about this bag, and there's one thing, is that I can't find it anywhere online because I'd really, really like another one of these bags because I got this bag off Depop of a seller on there. Like, I can't find another one of these anywhere. And that just is so sad because I just love it so much. I want another one. I want, like, a brother or sister for this one. I just, I need it. I just fucking need it. The brand for this bag is Borsani. I don't know if that comes to any use of any of you guys. But if you have seen any of these bags anywhere for sale, then please, please, please let me know. Because I'd really, really want another one just because they are just amazing bags. And it's a sort of like a backpack, but I hold it like this because I'm, I'm bougie and I'm chic. So yeah. moving on to the beauty products of this favourites video. The first thing I have been loving is this moisturiser, this fucking moisturiser. This moisturiser makes my skin so, so soft. I do struggle to find a moisturiser which like suits my skin because I have like oily skin but I also get those really annoying dry patches and I always have to put a moisturiser on for that specific reason so I don't get like those really horrible flaky dry patches in my skin. But this moisturizer is so, so good because it's oil free and it just makes my skin so, so soft. This is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I just love it. It is a drugstore product, so it's very, very cheap and affordable for people looking for a good moisturizer. I've been really, really liking this MAC Pro, -Law, Pro Long, I can't speak. Today. I've been really really liking this MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Paintly and this is such a good primer for your eyes and I feel like my eyeshadow just looks fucking 
flawless for the rest of the day ever since I put this on my eyes. I wear this now every single day before I put my eyeshadows on and I haven't really like had something that I put on my eyes that makes my eyeshadows look so good. Before I got this I used like a concealer and I just my eyeshadows just didn't look and didn't last as good as this does makes it makes them do. I don't know. This product is £16, which is quite expensive for a cream, eyeshadow, primer, eye primer, whatever you would like to call it. But again, I'd really, really recommend spending the cash on this just because it's such a good product. I've also been liking three eyeshadows, and I did mention these three eyeshadows in my previous video. I recently got three Makeup Geek eyeshadows, and oh... oh. These eyeshadows are my new favourite eyeshadows. The formula of these are incredible. They blend so well. The pigmentation is amazing. Just everything about these eyeshadows is amazing. I picked up three shades from their eyeshadow collection. I picked up Bitten, I picked up Creme Brulee and also Coco Bear. And these three shades just look absolutely amazing on the eye. I'm going to talk about these two shades first, which is Creme Brulee and Coco Bear. I'm wearing these on my eyes today. Firstly, Creme Brulee, I wear on my eyes every single day as a transition color. This is just such a beautiful transition color because it's very, very natural. It's a very nice blendable color and it also is a really nice color to blend colors together, but it's such a good color for a transition color. And if you're looking for one then I would definitely recommend this one a hundred next shade um, that I'm wearing on my eyes today is the shade Cocoa Bear and I'm wearing this in my crease to define my eyes this is such a good shade it's very very good for your crease to define it to deepen the crease and it just oh it's just amazing and again the pigmentation is just flawless and the shade Bitten which I've been also loving is a sort of red burgundy shade with a little bit of hint of purple. I really do love this colour for adding sort of a little bit of colour into the eye. This is just kind of a shade that's not really necessary, but it just does look really, really good on the eye. I've also been loving a lipstick from MAC. This is the Yash shade, and it's a matte lipstick. This shade is such a pretty nude, and I wear this every single day as my go-to lipstick, just because it's such a pretty shade, and I think it looks so good and so flattering on my skin tone. This is very, very similar to Velvet Teddy but it's a little bit lighter and looks a little bit better on fair toned people. I discovered this lipstick through looking for Lewis and also Tana Mojo because those two people um, always talk about this lipstick and I just fucking love it. It's just amazing and it's such a pretty nude shade and definitely something that everyone should have in their collection. I also have a concealer that I have been fucking loving this month. This is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade Ivory and I do struggle finding a good concealer from the drugstore because when I think of a concealer I always want it to be proper high coverage because the main idea of a concealer is to conceal things so when you're looking for a concealer you want it to cover stuff up because that's why you're using a concealer. I have gone through my fair amount of drugstore concealers which just don't work but this one is a really really good one and I feel like it does cover stuff up like it covers my dark circles like completely like i just feel like so flawless today when i have it on i just think it's such an amazing product and i definitely definitely recommend it seeing as it is only like five or six pounds last product is a fucking highlighter and this highlighter is my fucking life this highlighter is amazing and it's another drugstore product it is only three pounds and this is the mua undress your skin shimmer highlighter in iridescent gold this highlighter is so fucking good i get compliments on my highlighter whenever i wear this it's so pretty and it's so pigmented for the price i would 100% recommend this to anyone and it's a definitely a product that everyone should have in their collection. The last product that I have been loving this month is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Fixing Spray. This is a setting spray for your makeup and I recently got this. Ever since I've got this product, I've used it every single day. I use it to hydrate my skin after I have washed it and moisturized and everything. I use it to fix my makeup, to prime my face, to put on eyeshadow brushes, to make my eyeshadow more pigmented. Literally, I use this product for so many things. This is quite an expensive product, it's 17 pounds, 
but I would definitely recommend spending the cash on it because at first I was kind of skeptical about spending that much money on a fixing spray, but I decided to just go for it and buy it just because I had heard so many good things about it and I'm so happy I did pick it up because it's just amazing product. Okay, so that is all the things that I have been fucking loving this month. If you do enjoy this video, like I said, then don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to comment down below if you like any of these products, if you have any of these products and also if you have any particular things that you've been loving this month and don't forget to tell me what you have been loving. Also, if you're new here then don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every Sunday every week at around six o'clock maybe later maybe earlier it depends how I'm feeling but I do upload videos every Sunday. Congratulations to the giveaway winners don't forget to um, message me on either Twitter or Instagram uh, to send me your details and I'll get them packages straight out to you but other than that I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!